with the ability to create your own boards, you have knowledge to share and not only talk about, but also execute. So that's kind of been one of the most rewarding things that I've got to do is make a board for the local area based off what I know about design. Highest weight may be more than twice forecast value. With a little twist of where I come from, you know, because Southern California has such a rich history in board design. Weight height may vary considerably due to shoreline and depth of sand. It's just nice to be able to share your knowledge and pass on something from where you came from. Today's lesson is on the ever-challenging balance between speed and control. So, what you have there is a narrowed up version of my squid fish template, but it's drawn in a bit, so it's pretty much hybridized and unrecognizable. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna explain that too much. I'm just gonna... All sorts of voodoo around this ship, but I'll leave that to you to figure out. I'm just hoping this board's gonna be fast and loose. If you're kind of going for more of a performance shape, it's nice to cut down on weight, so I typically make the fins out of wood. Really, the best looking thing is just a nice piece of uniform grain wood, and cedar is one of my favorite for that, and I've made fins out of red cedar in the past, and you can get like techy little burled pieces and make really beautiful like artistic looking fins, but I mean a huge resource up here in the Northwest is the abundance of trees and it seems like it's a good place to focus on using the materials you have at hand and having something as nice as red cedar at hand is just super awesome and I think can be integrated into a board in like a performance way but still make it really beautiful and functional and I mean it's just always nice to be connected to your local environment and that sort of thing. You know it's not bad to have one board in your quiver that's been traveling with you for 10 years with a set of wooden fins on it that you know is sourced from right down the street or whatever that to me kind of makes them special and cool so yeah just kind of after that little extra touch and utilizing some of the resources that are available up here that would set it apart from something that I'd be making at home. Beautiful. You don't get better quality than that. Wow, look at that stuff. Red cedar. How oh, awesome. Mas estou envergonhado. 
com as coisas que eu vi Mas não vou ficar calado No conforto acomodado Como tantos por aí É preciso dar um jeito, meu amigo É preciso dar um jeito, meu amigo Descansar não adianta Quando a gente se levanta Quanta coisa aconteceu As crianças são levadas Pela mão de gente grande Quem me trouxe até agora Me deixou e foi embora Como tantos por aí É preciso dar um jeito, meu amigo É preciso dar um jeito, meu amigo Descansar não adianta Quando a gente se levanta Quanta coisa aconteceu É preciso dar um jeito, meu amigo é preciso dar o jeito, meu amigo. É preciso sim, é preciso, é preciso dar o jeito, é preciso dar o jeito, meu amigo. É preciso sim, é preciso sim, é preciso sim, é preciso dar o jeito, meu amigo. If I'm having a crack at making a board and it's just one board for the area, I typically like gear it for my ideal set of circumstances and kind of let it be whatever for all the rest of them. For me, I end up needing like a giant quiver of boards everywhere I go because I want to try all these different things. But when you're just making one board to, you know, share some stoke and leave behind, it's nice to make one that'll be most surprising and a plus conditions because that's when the most memorable rides go down. So trying to make a fish that'll go great when it's pumping. I've always been pretty comfortable with having more speed than I do control and found it super interesting to be like out of control. I found it really entertaining. So I definitely pushed that end of the design school for a while and have since just kind of subtly refined things to have adaptations for control without totally abandoning the speed. But it's always a trade-off, like you can't have the, you know, most stable control-oriented board that still goes really fast in small waves. It's like every condition has the perfect shape that suits you know what's going to make it the most comfortable and the most effortless to ride
Ways and 